That sounds what? like Liam's dying over there. Yeah, I know. Oh, like to to but I'm like, I got a little thrown off on my battery just because they're just like banging microphone. around with them. I was just lifting my microphone. Welcome to the very professional Death Battle cast. Uh, the only show where Tony the Tiger might uh, break Toucan Sam's beak over his knee. Um, we are <laughs> what? going to oh, yeah, get into the that. third part of our serial mascot tournament, tournament. arc. <laughs> tournament of the gods. <laughs> can I can three, I briefly? Three out of four. We are almost done with this. There's only one other part after this. So this is yep. going to be determine the next group of finalists that will be going into the final round, which will finally be probably Finalize. next week. Yes. The finale. What is what it, Liam? Saying, Liam? No, I was going to add um, just tangentially. Um, in my infinite wisdom yesterday, I, I got the booster shot, which was not, not a dumb thing to do, good thing to do. But now um, you feel like shit, huh? It, here's the thing. I actually, without, I, I feel mostly fine. But I decided yesterday, because I was just on a roll, being a responsible adult, I was like, I'm going to go to the gym. Haven't been in a little while. Fell off. <laughs> And I decided to start with an upper body day. Why would you do that? I don't know, dude. I don't know. Um, but everything about arm, that makes no sense. Yeah. Lefty right here feels like it's about to fall off. <laughs> it feels like it's. If you know the clip of Shikamaru being trapped in the Genjutsu, um, <laughs> uh, his arm is like melting and falls off. That's 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 how I'm feeling right about now. No, but besides <laughs> that, I'm a little congested, but but I'm mostly fine. Besides that. Well, I was glad you're alive. The back of my back, like it's, it's oh, that reaches yeah, up that... and tries to strangle me from behind. <laughs> that's about it, though. I mean, that's pretty normal. Fun. I yeah. mean, yeah. that's not even the booster shot. That's just how you know you were. That's the just whole time. me, dude. Yeah, that's me. How do I? Yeah. We've got a hell of a third hand. We have a speaking hell of an of, episode today. Yes. Uh, speaking of genjutsus, uh, before we get into this uh, serial, whatever it's going to be, um, Modern vs. Eisen is coming out in just a little bit. Fuck it's going to be yeah. out next week. Uh, we will have a sneak peek of the animation uh, later on in today's show. So stick around for that. Um, Liam has directed this, and uh, this is the penultimate episode of the year and the last sprite fight of the year. And holy shit, the team has been kicking ass. Yes. It's it's honestly the work they did on it, like how they all came together. And it was a big team that we got to. Um, just kind of mind-blowing. Like, like... We won't show this part in the sneak peek, but later on in the fight, there is some hand-drawn stuff done by Luis and Zach, which is just, like, fucking crazy. Um, really? and I'm, I'm, I mean, this is a big matchup. This yeah, one's been requested it's a, it's a, big a lot. It's like yeah. a... It's a it's anime Goku Superman in a way. Pretty, um, <laughs> in a way, yeah. Full, villain, say, fully anime, anime villain. because somebody's gonna be like, wah, wah, wah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> they don't do that yeah. research. See, they hate Dragon Ball. <laughs> well... Uh, it, there's a lot that goes into this match because it's, it's it's a very complicated uh, comparison. Madara and Eisen have so much going on. Yeah. Um, man, that the uh, getting uh, the call together with researchers and and going over uh, uh, the analysis and whatnot was it was a trip. <laughs> yeah. uh, we'll talk about was, all that on the next episode, one. though. Yes. Um, well, either the I'm next amped to get into this that. serial fight, man. Yes, let us I'm... get into. <laughs> The serial battle uh, of 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 Raisin Bran versus Chex Mix. So we're going to start with the Raisin Bran son versus the Chex Mix Chex Warrior. Which, if you don't know, uh, for whatever reason, Chex Mix in the what early nineties, I think. I don't know uh, yeah. that the company decided to just reskin Doom as Chex cereal. <laughs> I'm going to tell you. That, it's amazing. That hands down is the greatest cereal box prize that has yeah. ever been made. Oh, ever. Yeah. Es especially as a kid whose parents were like very, very overprotective about things with like blood and gore. I could play yeah, same. fucking Doom as much as I wanted because uh, it was in checks form. Doom, yeah. <laughs> Doom is so good, it transcends those kinds of boundaries. It it can be a <laughs> it can be about cereal and it's still fucking great because it's Doom and Doom is perfect. And that the first it includes the first Doom. I Doom is great. I love Doom. Luis is in the chat and he says, I want to hear about the mascots. Fuck the animation. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're getting to it, Luis. Um, and then, uh, so after we show off the, the sneak peek, we will also be doing Captain Crunch versus Tony the Tiger. That one's going <laughs> to be a thing. All right. So uh, here's how this is going to work. Um, 
as always, uh, the way we are doing this is uh, uh, we will be arguing. One of us is going to be arguing for each character. And then when the arguments are done, everybody else gets to vote on a winner. That includes you all watching this live on Wednesday. If you're, wa- if you're not watching this live, you can tune in Wednesday at noon, Central Time, every week to uh, watch Death Metal Cast live. Join in in the chat, which I'm watching over here. If you have anything you want to add for these mascots feel free and you Speaking can join that, in man. the argument and of course the poll will be up there as well so the first poll will be raisin bread sun versus the Chex warrior from Chex mix yeah and so we want to hear from you guys we call out stuff in the chat all the time so if you guys are watching right now and you don't have an account it's free to create one so just create an account you don't have to sign up for first but if you do we would love it because it'd be extra supportive but you can just create an account and we can see you chat right now um so Stream do it. obscenities yes yeah. do it we're cowards <laughs> <laughs> um Thanks. Okay, thanks, Sam, you're going to go first. Sam. I'm going to go yeah. first. Yeah. So no, the yeah, first Liam, up is Raisin Bread Sun, and that is Sam. Oh, no, I'm I'm Raisin Bread Sun. No, He's doing Liam. Chex- Sorry, I'm the that I'm is Chex- Chex- Warrior. I'm Fred yeah. Chexter, which is his actual name. Just after yeah, that. my notes Fred are Fred wrong. Chexter? Yeah, his Fuck name is yeah. Fred Chexter. I love it. First it's up is cool is uh, Fred Chexter, the Chex Warrior, and that is Sam. First up is the Sun with Liam. Liam. No, we're starting with Chex Warrior. Nope. All right. All right. Here's the thing. Fred Chexter <laughs> is uh, pretty much a Chex armor wearing version of Doom Slayer. Let me tell you about this universe and what happens, right? So they get attacked by these things called flimoids. They're gross, whatever. It's a children's video game, so they can't kill anything. So all of their weapons are built around Zorching. Zorching <laughs> sends these things to other dimensions. And those dimensions can, they can, the Zorch can tune into where you want to send them, right? Um, so with the flimoids, they send them back to their own dimension to, like, not be super violent, right? But all of their weaponry can zorch anything, not just flimoids. It's shown to zorch birds and all other different things. And it can zorch to the sun or any sun. And it, it seems to be dependent on the size of something, but they have humongous zorchers. And I believe <laughs> they could zorch the sun away. Also, I got more about the sun. I'm going to do the same tactic as last week, so go ahead, Liam. <laughs> oh, God. I, 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 I do need to say that if I never Fuck. hear the word Zorch again, it will be too soon. Like, that oh, just yeah. sounds like a terrible word. Zorch. Yeah. I mean, Zorch? I, I should yeah. mention he is Yo, a, girl, you want a Zorch? He is, like, you know, infamously oh, one me. of the best soldiers in the, you know, Chex universe, right? Like, he's, so, he's not, he's... Has plenty of combat training. He also has a. Hey, you, you had your sixty seconds, man. Give yeah. it, give it the, a minute. The chat, the, the chat <laughs> is uh, saying that Chex is obviously hyperversal and six dimensional. Yeah. So uh, clearly, <laughs> yeah. we yeah. have a very powerful character on our hands. But Liam, what's the sun bringing to the table? What's All right. The two scoops? So yeah. the Raisin Bran, sun, is the sun. <laughs> the mass the of the end. sun is let's oh here it is um 1.9885 times 10 to the 30th power kilograms which is equivalent to 333,000 earths that's it also oh, <laughs> what he's a I sun loved if you were silent burns for 30 seconds. at tens of thousands of degrees there is nothing that the checks fucker can do to him <laughs> He is a okay. celestial body made of burning hot plasma that if he were to even get close <laughs> to the planet the Chex fucker was on, it would completely vaporize. He is an actual, literal fucking sun, condensed <laughs> gas that is burning at millions of degrees Fahrenheit and weighs the equivalent of hundreds of thousands of the Earth. The end. <laughs> I mean, I will say, he's not always shown like to be the size of a sun. A lot of times, yeah. he's like he's like oh. about yay big and like flying around. If he can he... shrink. He can shrink, but his normal size me, is is the sun. If he's the sun, why isn't he burning this child to death? Oh, <laughs> oh shit! Like, why is he in a house? Because in this, in this, he actually does. I mean, mind that it's one twenty p. He explains that he's actually like a mystic raisin farmer not a son (laughs) um what i'm having trouble figuring out if you're just a liar (laughs) 
or don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> wow, Sam was ready for that. <laughs> there's, a, there's a lot of instances where the sun interacts with people and never do any of them complain about heat. Also, all commercials he's in where he's in it as like the sun, he's still gigantic. And if the sun was that close to us, we would all be not non-existent. I mean, there are commercials where he is just the sun, right? Like, I mean, he's a moving, talking sun with raisin scoops. So I would say <laughs> just the sun. But like, so, yeah. So, I, so Sam, your argument is that he's not actually a sun. He's just a mythical creature that happens to be in the shape of a cartoon sun. Yeah, that's pretty much what I'm saying here. Is and, he is not the sun. He is a cartoon sun that by every single commercial account, he does not put off heat. But how about that, that does episode of Family Guy raisin. where he drops raisins on people? I mean, I don't think we can take that as canon. Is that not, <laughs> is that not available? That's not, okay. that's not no. canon, no. Brian, Where he says cotton image. 120p. It's, it's a curious, <laughs> it's a curious, uh, <laughs> curious thought. Brian, could you pull up that image I sent you? All right, let's see oh. what you got here, Liam. Watching yeah, yeah. him be just burning a child to death. <laughs> like, <laughs> it isn't that. It isn't that. It's just saying, like, dude, he's got normal. an ass on him. Look at that. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? No, dude, wow, he's, he's, he's got, got the not... widest cheeks ever. Yeah, yeah. What the <laughs> dude, holy shit. Sure, he's gonna shrink his body big, down. Dude. Dude, his, those are his sun arms. Like that makes sense. His solar flares wiggling in. He's not uh, okay. Icky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, yeah, 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 yeah. What, what are you trying to show us? I'm trying to point out the fact that sure he can shrink down when he gets close to Earth, so he doesn't kill everybody. But when he is the full size of the sun, look at those raisins. How big would those raisins be? Relative. Well, my thing is once again, they'd be if... the size of fucking Jupiter. <laughs> dropping Jupiter fucking raisins on you. A, Just demolishing. You're making the assumption that this is, once again, A, if he was hot, these would not be raisins. They would be just carbon. And if these... They're like, already the, the dried is, out. Canonically... <laughs> <laughs> okay. Canonically, though, his raisins, those raisins you see right there are the ones in the cereal, Liam, so we know how big they are. And you could drop hundreds of those fuckers on me and i would be absolutely fine well i think i think it's pretty safe to say that like we've cl there's clear evidence that sunny can change size and i like it's not a stretch to think but that his scoops and the, the raisins, raisins can change size the scoops can change size the raisins are his raisins are the raisins that go into your box they don't change size they are just normal human size well, raisins they could change because like lucky could pull things into the box that were large he, he like changes exactly. their size and shape and makeup and then it goes into the box. So why couldn't that also be the case for the raisins? Lucky is a <laughs> Irish wizard. I don't hey, know. If the Raisin <laughs> Brand Sun is a magical being, it's different. I don't see what the issue is. I think your argument counters itself. If he's a magical being, then what? Why is it impossible to believe that? Huh? Huh? Destruction. <laughs> okay. Even right, for, I, so, I, I, here. I never thought I'd say these words. But Liam, I, I need some more from you. Yeah. And my thing is, okay, so so your best argument here is a really big raisin. Yeah. And he's the sun. <laughs> yeah, well he's not a he's not the sun. He's Are, are there commercials sun. where he is the sun? Like is that a thing? Yeah, I can hit you with one. Uh no, that's not the right one. It might take me a second, but there's a couple where he's like acting as. So he the is. He sun, can be but the sun. Also, he's just in the sky. He's not like the literal. Like he does get up in the morning and he's like, "Hey, everybody!" But like he's also <laughs> like right here. Definitely not the rest of the world's getting the sun. And if the sun was right here, you would fucking die. So <laughs> right, I'm I'm asking if there's a commercial where. The Raisin Brand Sun functions as the actual sun, like properly. Like, like he brings Earth is light. going around yeah. the Raisin Brand Sun. I went through quite a lot and I've never seen one like that. Liam? Even, even the old like 60s ones, like for the beginning of it, he's either animated in an animated world that's not, he's just like on a farm with grapes or he's he stays on the box. 
for a long time. It's not until like the 90s where he's not on the box, I feel like. Yeah, I'm scanning through some myself on YouTube and I'm seeing a lot of versions where he's like a small creature farming grapes, but <laughs> nothing yeah. where he's No, he's canonically the full sun. Like, I mean, he is a a raisin a tour. Like that's what he does. I don't know if that's a word. <laughs> He does raisins, right? So he's a grape farmer that you know forgets right. about him. Real quick, but, I, 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 no, I like, I get it, but like, Sam, your whole argument right now is just attacking Sonny. We haven't heard well, a lot here's about. My thing. Here's I haven't thing, heard though. a lot about the checks man, but then also like, I need to know if Liam well, only just calced the sun and <laughs> thought he would skate by on that. Yeah. So, so, so in Sam's defense, no way, dude. He did establish at the very beginning that the way that checks warrior is going to win is zorching the sun away. So yeah. what this really comes down to is what is the sun's size? Because the zorching is based on size. Uh, the larger the phlegm monster, whatever, uh, the more zorches it requires to take them out. You need the like BFG version to take out the really big ones. Uh, so just, is the sun, the Razor Brand sun, small enough for the zorching zorch, zorch stuff to zorch it away? And does that count as a win? Because technically, that's not killing the sun. It is battlefield removal. That counts as a win. Just, the, a, just a quick thing. Just scanning through some commercials. Um, the sun is able to. It is like at this in this state large enough um, to dwarf clouds. Um, and clouds, which they look like cumulus clouds here, um, can be like hundreds of meters, if not like several kilometers wide and tall. So, so that's a but, that's a that's a basic estimate. He's like he's like he's like drawing like like uh what, what do you call the the one two three four and then you slash through. He's just numbering these these clouds. So that's yeah. that's a size. So hundreds also, of pain, meters at pain, least. Pain free I, in the chat says the skies don't go dark when he changes locations. Therefore, he's not the sun. He's still There's producing another light. sun out there. He's still producing light. So and if he gets closer, I'll give you that he does produce light, but. That if he's producing light, 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 he's producing heat, dude. Like it's, we don't that that's not. Once again, we don't know that for sure. If he is, yeah, sure. In the same sense that, like, okay, yeah, if you want to try and burn me to death with your fucking LED flashlight? Go ahead, bud. But, <laughs> like we don't know at what level. Like, yeah, I'll give you. He is a living creature, and at some extent, all like creatures are gonna generate friction and heat and bullshit, but not like. <laughs> Not well, vaporize the fucking planet heat. Okay, he's a, he's a flashlight, right? He's a right, or or does he have control over his heat? We, I, because he's a sentient sun. Can he control the heat that he outputs so that he doesn't burn that poor child to death? No evidence. But I think my I guy's think got the, a spaceship, the and a is bunch the of fucking zorchers, and <laughs> he is a. How is he going to zorch something as really, big as clouds? How's he going to zorch thing. that? Here's my thing. He's a brilliant tactician, right? He is one of the most accoladed warriors in the Chex Mex universe, if not the most. So, um, all he has to do, because your own by your own admission, this raisin brand sun can change sizes. So as long as he gets into a, let's just say, like I don't know house or anything the sun is going to have to come down to his size in which case he will then instantly be zorched with his that sun shot. still has the same mass his volume might oh be my smaller, god but he guys. still has the same amount of mass Those so we'll be able to sort something as massive as the raisin brand sun Real quick break for our sponsor, Amazon Music. Since you're enjoying this show, I think it's safe to assume that you enjoy podcasts, right? Well, you'll find a ton of binge-worthy podcasts, including ours, on Amazon Music. They have more than 10 million free podcast episodes, like the hilarious Smartless, which you can hear one week before anyone else, ad-free. And if you want music on demand, also ad-free, you have to try Amazon Music Unlimited. That gives you unlimited access to over 75 million songs. With Amazon Music Unlimited, you can listen to any song, anywhere, offline with unlimited skips. I've used Amazon Music myself for, for many years now, and I think it's a service absolutely worth trying out, especially since you can now try out Amazon Music Unlimited for free. If you've never tried Amazon Music Unlimited, now's a great time. For a limited time, new customers can try Amazon Music Unlimited for free for three months. No credit card required. Just go to amazon.com slash dbcpod. That's amazon.com slash dbcpod to try Amazon Music Unlimited free for three months. Amazon.com slash dbcpod. Does renew automatically, but you can cancel anytime in terms apply. Thank you so much for the sponsor. Let's get back to the show.
Brian, I'm sending you a video, oh. um, a Raisin Brand commercial. The first half shows the sun's daily, like morning routine. Um, Does he yeah, do he, a BM? Does he? Do he a... wakes up to the sun coming up. Not Ooh. him. Another sun. See. Uh oh. There's a sunrise. Oh shit. That comes yeah. up. We don't he's actually see the sun, but there's a golden the glow sun. that comes up over the horizon. Yeah, he's not. And then he the wakes sun. up, and then like the farmer's like, "Yo, sun, we need some grapes." And then the sun is like, "Okay, I'll go get them grapes." Okay, but we need to also talk about the fact that he can fucking fly and he just sleeps on clouds and has somehow well, manifested a bed that can stay on top of clouds. So you can it, see like, the sunrise also, in the background. Oh, yeah. And where, wh what's that phone line look like that's in the cloud <laughs> for his, like, rotary dial phone? I mean, it's a magic, there's clearly some magic going on in order for... Ah! Sorry. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> see, He's right quit. there, uh, other He's, argument. He's barely the size of a fucking grape. Or These the grapes could be huge, gigantic grapes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So here's the thing. Okay. So let's 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 kind of start wrapping this up. So clearly, the Raisin Brand Sun and the two scoops might not be quite as powerful as we we thought this whole time, yeah. which is a crazy mind fuck. Like this is I'm blowing my away. mind. I yeah. thought, yeah, I thought the Raisin Brand Sun was here, but I think. Unless Liam can give us some really good evidence, like, I think he's just a creature that looks like a sun. <laughs> he's a weird grape-farming flying mythical demon that looks like a sun, <laughs> but isn't. Yep. If that is the case, it does look like to me that he could be Zorched. However, if he can change his size, it's going to be difficult. Uh, and if he can even, he doesn't even need to be the size of the sun itself, so long as he can be larger than clouds, I don't know if the Chex Warrior is going to be able to Zorch him correctly. I'm going to say Zorch as much as possible because I know Chad hates that word. Um, mm -hmm. so, Zorch all over him. <laughs> yeah, uh. Maybe he'll, he'll get all those, his Zorching abilities, Zorching all over him. Um, but I'm, I'm conflicted, man. I don't know. But I think it's, uh, time. I I might think it's just, time to vote. I might just say mass 1.9885 times 10 to the 30th kilograms. So... That's for for the raisin brands, huh? God, but that, no, that's raisin. that's you're giving us the mask for the sun, for <sighs> the cloud, not for okay. this creature. So disingenuous, Sam. Can't believe this is so, just the uh, this is just Sunny the Cocoa Puff thing <laughs> all over again. Hey, hey, no, hey, it's not. It looks Liam, like Sam did more research just, on the raisin brand sun than you bullshit. did. <laughs> Liam, I'm, I'm gonna give you I'm gonna give you one one last one one little one last uh, opportunity to maybe uh, change your mind about how the sun works. Um, so at the <laughs> moment, it looks like the raisin brand sun works by he is a creature who farms grapes, <laughs> potentially has sh uh, size changing abilities, but oftentimes remains as small as the grapes themselves is there anything well he picked up a girl prove earlier, that he so can like... be large enough that the zorch zorching will not zorch him away there is a commercial i found where he's the size of those clouds and he's like bigger yeah. than them and like drawing like using them as like chalkboards so that would be significantly larger than um i mean we don't know how big sam hasn't said how big like uh, an ob the, the biggest object that's been zorched in those games um but if he can if he can zorch something that's like the size of like several skyscrapers like taped together, um, then sure. But I don't think the can. the what biggest thing I believe is the wall demon, right? Yeah, which is or wall uh, phlegm. Yeah, the the the, the final boss, which is I don't know, I want to say house size, maybe. Well, they're oh, they're just guys. reskin doom enemies, so no, yeah. This, I, have, I have a very critical thing to bring up. So Fanta okay. Callum in the chat says, the sun can raise in things, right? That's why he's the sun, because he, you know, he dries out grapes, right? right. Is there any evidence? Because this will, this will solve the heat question of whether he can control it. Is there any evidence? Is there any commercial where you see him turn a grape into a raisin? Yes. Okay, okay. Here, here's my thing. Yes, there is. But the process of that is done through not heat which he does play a part in it but it is the dehydration of great if you want to try and further dehydrate a piece of checks go ahead my friend but you're not gonna <laughs> do it you got nothing on me motherfucker if we, i know we keep saying zorch you don't know what it means I, that's we're just gonna see, keep saying zorch it, it i doesn't would like matter. to point out 
in in the the newer games, which is canon, mind you, is canon to the whole checks verse or the <laughs> General Mills verse, right? Uh, it does. He does. Fred Chexter is here, and once he God, gets home, him. it does state that he grills with the strength of ten dads. <laughs> so like, oh, look at him! Oh my God! Oh no! Yeah. Friends oh, and children. No. He's a better father than Goku. <laughs> like, I mean, he's he's beating Goku on the feats list so far. I don't see where your son lands on this at all. Okay, um, okay, okay. He's the we, son. We, we... <laughs> Let's wrap this up. It's time to vote. Get your votes in in the <laughs> in the chat poll. Um, let's go ahead and bring up the Twitter poll and see which also, one. If you, if you guys are on mobile, you can use hashtag one to vote for Sunny the Sun or hashtag two for Fred Chexter. Is his name really Fred? I did. Okay. Yeah, Fred That's Chexter. what Sam said. Yeah. Let's go ahead and bring up the Twitter poll. Oh, the well, Twitter poll that. is outstandingly well, Sunny the Sun. Look We've at that. talked about Sunny the Sun. This the is people, true. and as no. we all know, we all know that the the real one for us is how much we sway. So that's seventy thirty. I, I got to know how much we sway our our the, the live. Chat. Okay, we'll that's see. That's one that matters most. But y'all need to vote first. So we'll, we'll see. Yeah. So Chad uh, yeah, yeah. and I will vote as well. Um, Chad, what are you leaning towards? I'm gonna be real here. I. I have been swayed. I was very much like Sunny the Sun is like crazy overpowered and is going to make it to the end of this tournament. But I think I just I didn't hear enough evidence of what the sun can do. And if he's an actual sun and I think Sam swayed me, I was not he's expecting this zorched. result. So I'm voting oh my Fred God. Chexter. He's getting his orched. Oh, my God. We have a vote. I'm not for... messing with you, Liam. I'm sorry. This is for real. I got swayed, man. <laughs> we have a vote for the check swear. OK, I I. Everything to me does sort of say like the sun is n isn't nearly as powerful as we thought. <laughs> what a what a sentence. Um, <laughs> but the the fact that there is a commercial where he is larger than clouds does make me think that he might be able to resist being zorched. Um, so I, and because he can uh, change his size, he should be able to change the raisins, so he could crush the poor Chex warrior. I have to vote for the sun still. But I think you, you almost swayed me, Sam. Like, it's way closer than I was expecting. Wow. But I, I got to vote for the sun. So it's two for the sun, one for the Chex Warrior. But let's see what you guys yeah, here, voted on here's, in the here's chat. One last bit, though. He does have a military spacecraft. And I assume the zorching capacity of the spacecraft. <laughs> you know, the, the, that's, that's Does the, the spacecraft have a zorch rate? Right? It's a military craft. Have you seen <laughs> a military craft without a gun on it? It could be a transportation craft, man. Yeah. It does not yeah. have like, any yeah, There's no guns on airplanes. Flailing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and get uh, the poll from the chat in here and see once and for all who wins between the Razor Brand Sun and the Two Scoops versus the Chex Warrior and his Zorching Zorches. Oh, wow! shit! 51% to 49%. The Sun barely edges out. Oh. Holy crap. Wow. That's that was so shitty. close. Sam, wow. you did a great job, man. Sam did a great job. I had yeah. five more minutes. I could have no, them all Yeah, there. you were correct. I didn't do any research on those. <laughs> I, I tried I to find them. Well. They're hard to find. There's no respect threads. I can see why, because he's just a fucking orb. Yeah. Well, yeah. So now that but we know that Sun is okay, I'm oh, actually shit. glad that Sunny won. Even though I think I on I honestly think Sam did a much better job. Um, but if the, the thing about Sunny moving on is that now I want Liam to represent Sunny again, but like really dive into the research and come prepared. Uh, in in the next. Phase oh, we of the could tournament. do Sunny versus Sunny. It's Sunny the bird. When, when, where, his name is Sunny? Are you sure about that? I, I don't know. No, no apparently it was, not. The, it was in the chat. Where did it that was come from? The the it was in the chat. I just was okay. taking it from you guys. <laughs> Whatever. Raisin Brand Sun. Either way, Sun's, Raisin Brand Sun takes sunny. it. Barely. Oh, guys. Yeah. Apparently the stream froze right when the result was about to be shown. <laughs> oh, no. Okay. Um, uh, well, I hope it's... Oh, it's moving. I see it. Yeah, I it guess looks it's like it's moving now. for us. So uh, if if you missed it because the stream froze, Sunny the Sun 
which is apparently his name. I'm, I'm not 100% convinced about that. Um, uh, one barely. It was a 51% to 49% that was a, that was a crazy uh, split. comparison. Yeah. Uh, so the sun and the two scoops will make it to the final battle. Um, but now we need to get to the last battle of the, uh, of the finalists. But first, let's talk about what's going on. And what is going on is Madara Eisen comes out next week. Preview. We got a sneak peek. Let's show it. Uh-huh. Uh you can see me. I can see everything. <laughs> Did you see that? Holy shit, oh, it's gonna yeah. be so cool. <laughs> Good, I'm glad we cut that at that moment. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, it gets wild as yeah. it goes on. Like, yeah. man, there's so many cut. crazy powers. <laughs> literally two seconds later, it gets buck wild. <laughs> yeah, it gets crazy literally two <laughs> seconds later. I had later. to cut it there. I feel yeah. like anything after that spot was just everybody's gonna like, it's, it goes a little, it gets yeah. wild wild. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I had forgotten to like mention like, Cut it right at the Susano punch. Um, yeah, <laughs> I, I'm just like so fucking stoked for this one. Um, uh, that was like that was like the most like toned down the entire fight is because it's got to have a build up. Um, but yeah, uh, uh, Nicholas Andrew Louis, voice of Madara, Philip Sacramento, voice of Eisen. I think they killed it. Um, it's it's really it's really gonna be awesome. Luis and his team, everybody did such an amazing job with the animation. Like this is, this is, you haven't even seen anything yet. It gets fucking crazy. And the chat um, is popping off because yeah. there's lyrics. Oh yeah, <laughs> there are lyrics. There are in fact lyrics. Uh, the, Brandon, the music right? is Brandon fucking, oh, so good. I don't want to say that sounded really good. Like I'm pretty sure I yep. said that like three times already, but um, yeah, it's really good. <laughs> So, Modern Eisen is dropping this Sunday uh, for first members. If we just mentioned becoming a first member and all, all it takes, uh, if there's anything that deserves becoming a first member over, I think this is one of the episodes that does. It's, it's, you got to see this one. Start a free trial. Um, Watch it early. Exactly. Uh, so, that, that'll be out for first members this Sunday, then on YouTube the following Monday um, on our usual time, you know, noon central time. Um, very excited to see what you guys think of this episode. Please let us know. We love these uh, crazy, you know, shonen versus shonen matchups because they can get buck wild with some ridiculous powers. Uh, it, it's always a fun time. So be sure to tune in to that episode this weekend or next next week. Um, yeah, and then we will be moving on to the final episode of the season. We are almost at the season finale of our tenth year oh anniversary. Oh my god, which is crazy. Oh, I, I will wait. say. I, uh, Wow. I do want to say one thing, because I don't want to spoil anything, but I think it is important to mention the season finale, it's not what you expect. <laughs> Just going to leave it, it there. It's, it might be half of what you expect. <laughs> <laughs> I think well. I... I think it's so good. Like, like I think it. I, no, I'm not. I don't want to talk about it. I might spoil something, but it's good. It's it's very. No, good I, I don't want to spoil it, but it's just not what yeah. you expected it to be. Yeah, and it's, I'm pretty sure. And, I know the, and there are, and there are reasons. <laughs> but, I'll yeah. say this. Uh, despite like Dio Alucard being like the match I really wanted to do for a while, and and being able to write and direct that this year, the finale is the one I'm most looking forward to this year. Oh. That's that's what I'll say. I appreciate that. It's 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 been a it's been a wild one to work on, but we can't talk about it until it's revealed. So stay tuned for that. It'll obviously be revealed at the end of Madara versus yep. Eisen. I'm gonna Sunday have to see. or Monday. All right, it's time to get to the last of the finalist matchups. Let's get back into the community death battle.
We are going to wrap this up with Captain Crunch versus Tony the Tiger. You're going to want to go first. <laughs> uh, yeah, I figure I want to go first. Let's do this. All right, Tony the Tiger. Um, so first things first, he's a tiger. Um, tigers are like the most ferocious big cat <laughs> that exists. Um, if, if they could roar, they would be considered the king of all cats, but lions can roar louder, but a tiger could totally kick the shit out of a ti- uh, lion. Um, Tony the Tiger... Uh, unfortunately, most of his commercials don't really have him doing much that, that involves him being a badass. Um, he is often seen uh, uh, avoiding people. His, his skill is actually more stealth and espionage because uh, his job is to keep the secret recipe of the Frosted Flakes away from people who want to steal it. Like his arch enemies, Tiger Man and Dr. Uh, Dr. Cheetah. <laughs> but... <laughs> His one really powerful ability is to supercharge himself and get a bunch of new powers like shape-shifting, flight. He can summon power armor and disintegrate metal um, and a bunch of other stuff. That's cool. I didn't know that. He does have powers. Mm -hmm. I don't exactly know how that's going to stack up against Captain Crunch. I do. But we'll see as we we explore this. Um, There might be something else that he can do that can counter something Captain Crunch has, but I'm not entirely sure just yet because I don't know. So let's go ahead and cover the Crunch. Let's do it. The Captain. Whatever. All right. Horatio Magellan Crunch, uh, (laughs) known to most as Captain Crunch. You know, despite wearing the stripes of a commander, this serial mascot has a black belt in breakfast and will not only win (laughs) this matchup, but will win this entire tournament. This seafaring, reality-warping titan of crunch is master of reality in both fiction and nonfiction, capable of doing whatever he wants, whenever he wants, even creating life itself. Once he comes sailing in on his ship, the Guppy, the competition is sunk. I'll fucking blow off the rest of the 20 seconds. I've got plenty more to talk about, but that was my intro. You haven't given us any abilities. What can he do? He is a literal reality warper. Like, at any point in in both fiction or nonfiction, he can do whatever the fuck he wants. With the snap of his fingers, he can create life, summon anything he thinks of, change people into different things, give dogs the ability to speak. This man is an unstoppable reality warping monster that may be the god of our own universe. (laughs) What? Okay. Um... (laughs) I'm hearing a lot of powers, but uh, 25 no more seconds. Um, hang on. Oh, wait, so, sorry. I was looking at the. Ch- <laughs> I was looking, looking at, at the, the wrong chat. thing. Um, so like okay. all of his commercials, he has the ability to just like, like literally contact. So first of all, let's talk about, I'll start with crunchitizing, right? Yeah. Crunchitizing. He's got a crunchoscope, which he what just has to look at. Crunch crunch. <laughs> yes. well, what's the, what uh, is the verb? Real, real quick, before we get into it, the poll yeah. is up in the chat. If you're watching this live, you can vote Captain Crunch and uh, Tony Tiger. Captain Crunch is hashtag one. Tony the Tiger is hashtag two. If you are voting on mobile, otherwise you can just, you know, click the dot and you're done. All right. What's the biggest so what thing is the crunchitizer? Yeah. And what's well, the so biggest what, thing? What is crunchitizing and what's, yeah. so what has what, he crunchitized? What crunchitizing is, is uh, the captain. Well, first of all, he can come sailing in on the, on the guppy, like wherever he wants. It's flown in. It's gone to space. It's done like literally anything. It can go anywhere. Um, and so he rolls in on this giant ship. And then all he has to do is look at someone with his crunchoscope. Um, and I'm actually not convinced that he fully needs that. Uh, to do that based on the other things that he can do. But anyway, we'll we'll stick with that for now. It then turns them into Captain Crunch cereal and then transports them into his own dimension to which he has full control of in like the most batshit cartoon physics stuff ever. He's flying on things. He's like teleporting around. He can pop in and out of whatever he wants. He can snap his fingers and anything can appear. A giant raft that's in the shape of a crunch, a fucking dinosaur, like anything. And what's insane is that when he sends these people back to the real world, anything that happened in this in the crunchitized dimension persists. Anything that they've been given, like he's he's snapped his fingers in some fictional uh, like sports equipment. And then when the kids go back to reality, there's fucking sports equipment all around. Another time he just filled an entire lunchroom full of Captain Crunch that came from his dimension like. There is nothing that he can't do within this space, and it all transcends into the real world. 
Okay, but <laughs> is he able to murder anybody with this ability? He could absolutely do that. Well, he, he, wait, wait, he wait, can... wait, 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 So, can he crunchitize something in the real world? What do you mean? He, he always crunchitizes something in the real world, then they go to his dimension. That's what crunchitizing is. It brings okay, okay, them. Okay, okay. But when they go back, Whatever happened in the dimension now persists in the, yeah, so in the real world. So how would that finish off Tony the Tiger? Like, why wouldn't yeah. he just be sent to the dimension and then just come back like normal? Because he could kill him in the dimension how? with anything he wants. Literally anything. He could snap his finger and a giant anvil would fall on top of him. He could, like, stab him. He could wait, 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 summon a box full of swords tiger? that came in and go through and kill him. I don't think a giant anvil falling on Tony the Tiger kills him. He could literally no. probably just snap him out of reality. Could there, uh, probably. Okay. okay. What's, what's the, well, he can, he, I mean, he literally has control over life itself. He's I, brought a, a caveman mannequin to life. Yeah, a but plastic that's, clown head, a poster. That's he just fucking brought to life. life. That's yeah, not yeah, taking life. Away. life the is far thing. different. I'm, I'm trying to figure out, like, because I could, yeah, he can bring Tony there and turn him into fucking Captain Crunch pieces, but. He could summon a dinosaur and then eat, then the dinosaur would eat the tiger. So he has summoned like a dinosaur before. Yes. Okay. Anything. That's he, that's anything that he cause, wants. Because what I'm hearing right now is he has the ability to transport anything to his dimension, um, and can do it instantaneously. But there's very little here that makes me think that he could actually kill. What Tony. do you mean kill? He can he can summon whatever he wants. He also has complete context uh, sensitivity. Wait, where does has, he summon this stuff from? Does do, do they come from? It the just dimension literally or it just appears. It just, it just Some, sometimes stuff fly in. Other times he literally will just snap. What's like and then the, it, it what's just like bing, the biggest appears. thing he's Other done. times he'll pull shit out of his pocket because he's got a pocket dimension, like within his own dimension. <laughs> I, he I also only, has I've, done this stuff in reality. He's been sitting in a movie theater, a real life movie theater with children and snapped his finger and bowls and crunch cereal manifest into their hands. Like, yeah, but what I'm saying is like, there's like, I like, don't see how he like, kills the tiger though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Could he, he, he summon like stuff, but... a fucking nuclear bomb? Like, how is this logic not connecting to you? Yes, thank you, well, Liv. He could create Tony... a nuke. Well, no, I'm, it's I'm not like asking. Tony is well, super strong. Like, uh, it, it just feels like, like we're doing a lot of theoretical stuff here. Like, theoretically, he could summon a bomb. Theoretically, he could instantly kill uh, uh, Tony. But, like, I'm, I'm not seeing any evidence of these theories. Hey, you know what time it is? It's the time of year to better yourself and make some changes. And there's no better way to do that, especially if you think about changing careers, than Code Academy. There's never been a better time to become a programmer, and Code Academy can help you learn to code on your own terms. Not only that, Code Academy will teach you coding. They will uh, help you prepare a unique portfolio, and uh, you'll have unique projects in there. You'll earn certificates, and you'll prep for technical interviews. Which let me tell you, just having a portfolio of stuff you've actually done is so important. As somebody who hires in a creative field, I rarely look at anything aside from your portfolio of things you've done, whether you're an artist or a programmer or whatever it might be like, what have you done? Show me that. Okay, that's great. Now I'll look at the other stuff and talk to you and everything. So like, cannot stress how important that is. And with Code Academy, you'll be writing working code in just minutes. And you can learn coding languages like HTML, CSS, Python, SQL, and more. Code Academy's programming personality quiz can even tailor career advice based on your strengths and interests which is a super awesome tool because if you're like, man, I want to do this stuff, but what do I actually want to do with this stuff? That's just such a great option to figure out where to go in what's your strong suits and what you're going to be interested in. Because let me tell you, coding is very different whether you want to ingest data or do anything like that. It, it can be a, a, a tricky thing to start with and Code Academy makes it not tricky at all. It just streamlines the whole thing. So Join over 50 million people learning to code with Code Academy and see where coding can take you. Get 15% off your Code Academy Pro membership when you go to codecademy.com and use promo code CAST. That's code CAST at codecademy.com to get 15% off Code Academy Pro, the best way to learn to code. Code Academy, C O D E C A D E M Y.com with the promo code CAST. Go check it out. Uh, support the people who support us. Thank you. And now back to the show.
What are you talking about? This is the whole debate of death battle. It's we see the shit that he can do, like, and then we apply, like, yeah, 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 what? yeah, 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 yeah. But, but, but there's a, there's a, there's a, there's like a. The question is scale, right? Like, could he summon right. a universe and drop it on Tony the Tiger? I don't know. Probably I have not, not seen a limit to anything he could do. He right, also but, seems but like I'm saying in the in, in... about like the limit is like how much he's well, yeah. done until there's like something what's, to suggest that he has no limit. What's the and, also any thing problem he's, he's summoned? What? What's the biggest thing he's summoned or deadliest thing? Yeah. Oh God, I don't. Uh, there's like a mech the size of the Statue of Liberty. Um, okay, okay, see. okay. We that's, that's, yeah. Yeah. Mech. that's giving us some. St yeah. Okay. Good. That's kind of what we're asking. Yeah. <laughs> so. Yeah. If let, let, let me, let me like, give I a counter. Bowls of cereal, like that's not like okay. Yeah, let, let me give a counter for Tony. Yeah. Because yeah. uh, frankly, Tony doesn't have a lot to work with against something like this, but there might actually be something he can do. So Tony does have a wide array of things that aren't really related to each other, but maybe could come together if we're being theoretical here to create a, a more deadly tiger. Um, so his voice is incredibly powerful. Anytime he goes, air, great. He can like shake uh, buildings and airplanes and things like that. He can't shake the world with it, uh, but he can shake its building level, basically. Um, and that's just his voice. Um, he has a bat cave with a bunch of tech, uh, including a flying surfboard. And oh, I forgot to send this to you, Brian. Let me send this to you. There is a vacuum that sends people to another dimension i'm not Ooh. entirely sure what it does Ooh. but it's very bizarre and weird uh so we could go ahead and bring that up um and of course like i mentioned he has the supercharged serial that gives him extra powers he can summon power armor he can fly um there is a clip of him disintegrating metal while wakeboarding we can show that as well He's he apparently got kicked a, a soccer ball to the moon. house um, his, his supercharged form rich. Oh, that might, unfortunately, is that the right commercial? Yeah, so Brian, if you go to about around 40 yeah. seconds in, it's a little long. Oh, dude, that's um, a fucking sick cave, dude. <laughs> yeah, so he has a bat cave with a bunch of tech, and then Dr. Cheetah is trying to steal the secret formula, so he beats the shit out of him and sends him to the, the, the special zone? I don't really know where he's going. The special zone. <laughs> yeah. uh, there Actually, he goes. I don't know if that's a different dimension. That might have just shot him out of the top of the... There was like weird Cave. mystical blue stuff was, inside the vacuum. Yeah, so generic, I don't know. There was generic portal effect. He might yeah, have just exactly. gone back to town. Like you don't know. Like, you know, have just been disintegrated. We, ne as far as I'm aware, that is the only commercial where Doctor Cheetah ever appears, and we never like, see him again. Too. It's it's actually really. I'm glad you mentioned. Uh, There's blue. a disintegrating metal. Oh, okay, when he's yeah. supercharged. It just it obliterates. It just it. gone. <laughs> yeah, he grinded <laughs> that shit. That was sick. Oh, and there's like, some clouds. Oh, radical, dude. Yeah, dude, that's yeah. pretty sick. He just did tricks on the clouds, dude. Well, he, he can fly rad. while he's supercharged. Yeah. So I assume that's okay. what that is. Okay. There, yeah. there is another supercharge that I do want to point out because this one also kind of has like a little bit of like a durability feat. So he's trapped on an island and he gets this hammock. Right? And he does this dumb oh, shit, yeah. which is super strong. Yeah, yeah. Like, right, right, right. He pulls the trees together. Here's my things, yeah. So this happens. Not great for Tony, right? Right. Look how far this man gets smacked into the ground. This happens all the Literally. time, by the way. And then he is clearly, he's got a black eye. He is, he's beaten up and he is damaged. Boom, supercharged. Fine. That's a healing factor, boys and girls. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, there you go. Cows, we're all here. That's he's funny. got a healing factor. I'll say this. I'll say this. Just, I think, look how swole that man is. He just oh, he stretched his arms, too. That's pretty sick. Yeah. Tony yeah, probably he's got has a physical arm edge over the captain. Yeah. He can also shape shift. There's a, there's, a, uh, there's a commercial where he's diving and he turns into a swan, then a fish, then a ball. Um, so he has a broad cavalcade of powers uh, when he's supercharged, plus his tech, which we've Wait, only seen in his Wait, if he can shape shift, can he... Can he uncrunchitize himself that's what i was that's what i was getting at i think he oh. might be able to uncrunchitize himself um we don't know the extent of the shape shifting however yeah the only thing he's ever turned into is a swan a fish and a ball um those are smaller than himself um, but he had full control over himself while he was shape shifted uh and could shape shift into other things after that so there's a broad one array of powers that combined together might be enough and the biggest one of all uh, there was a whole series of Frosted Flakes commercials where the theme was, if you suck at something, but you really want to be a master at it, all you got to do is eat Frosted Flakes. And then boom, 
You're a fucking master at whatever you were trying to do, yes. including so motorbiking, like, football, gymnastics, and judo. Like, yeah, it's like same, downloading same exact karate. Thing. Same exact thing with um, Cabin Crunch cereal. Uh, there's many times kids are in a scenario and they're usually bored or they're not good at something, and they're like, "I wish we had Captain Crunch." And then he comes slamming in. I think this guy's broken more walls than the Kool Aid Man. And then like <laughs> he gives them, he takes them to the other dimension. They do a bunch of shit. Then they come back and they instantly know how to do whatever they were gonna do. And they also sometimes return with cartoon physics. Like uh, there were some kids that return back. And then they had like chocolate on their faces because it was for like the chocolate donut cereal. And then they stick out gigantic cartoon tongues and lick their own face clean. Um, they also, okay, like, that's weird. Kids were also taught karate. They returned and then beat the shit out of their karate master when they didn't know how to do anything previously. Sounds like they need to go through a whole training arc though. What? Whereas Frost of Flakes, no, you he just, just eat one bite and you're a master of it. No, also, it's like X, I agree. I would absolutely love that's a healing factor, boys and girls on a shirt. That's a great yeah, <laughs> That's great. Um, it, it, Captain that's, Crunch can survive the vacuum of space and breathe in space and can summon people into space uh whenever so he wants here's my here's my question for you chad let's say yes. there's not exactly enough proof to say that tony's shape-shifting could counter the uh, crunch ties yeah i was gonna ask ray or whatever but let's say he can is there anything that crunch could do in addition to that like if he can't crunch ties tony What's he got up his sleeve next? Unmake him. How, is he un <laughs> How does he unmake him? Uh, there is no limit. Thing. Like, there's no fucking like, limit to what no. this guy can do. He constantly summons whatever he fucking wants. He is, like, he is the definition of content, uh, context sensitivity. Like, any problem that's happening, there's a way that he can instantly solve it, either by snapping his fingers or, like, for, take, take case in point. Um, the Soggies are his enemy uh, who look just like, just, just walking walking come it's bad brian you want to show what they look like <laughs> um oh, jesus i mean if it's... you're trying to make i can see how this would happen you're trying to make a little milk goblet and then yeah exactly go, yeah because yeah, yeah. that's yeah. The, like, the cabin oh crunch cereal God. it's the only cereal that stays crunchy oh, yeah there they are oh, yeah they look oh, bad don't they oh, oh yeah they sure do Oh um, Jesus! But anyway, so you see that that dude is like uh, the sog sog master or something like that. Um, <laughs> and, what the yes. armored one? Uh, is that yeah. what we're calling it now? Yeah, <laughs> okay. it's bad. Okay. Um, and so uh, he managed to make a bunch of zombie clones of Captain Crunch, and then Captain Crunch, the kids are like, "What are we gonna do?" And then Captain Crunch like, "Hop on!" And he literally just picks up his hat and grows his hat to like the size of a building. And then they jump in it and it sprouts rockets and they start flying over the city. And then they're like, what are we going to do, Captain? And he's just like, he starts shooting a ray at all the zombies. And he goes, that's my, oh, God, hold on, let me find it. Where is it? I, I would also like to point out just like a little fun fact about Captain Crunch is that his that's... eyebrows are part of his hat. Doesn't really factor in. It's <laughs> nah, he takes his hat but... off a lot, and they they just transcend his hat. Um, yeah. so it's like Jotaro's hat. Yeah, he's like, that's my duplicate yeah. zombie hypno ray. Like at anything that this man is mm. faced with, he can come up with a solution on the spot. One time, <laughs> Lex Luthor stole blue, the color blue, from the world, and the kids are like, should we call Superman? And they're like, no, we'll Fuck call Captain Superman. Crunch. And Captain okay. Crunch comes rolling in and restores the color blue to the world. Okay, how real does quick. that kill so, a man? That one's pretty so, crazy. All right, really epic. I am um, giving Captain you the Crunch argument that he is master of easily, reality. Sure, Captain Crunch is able to easily defeat the cum master. That's great and all. <laughs> um, so, Flaming Kitty, oh, thank you so Kevin. much for posting that in the chat. Uh, I had actually skimmed through this commercial, and it didn't seem like it had anything. I did not watch the very end. Brian, if you could show the very end of this commercial... Um, this seems like it might be worth exploring. Mm -hmm. So this is another supercharged moment. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. I knew we know he has super strength because he was able to pull those two trees together. Um, he yeah. could also do this. Did he kick a ball around the world? Oh. What's really it's interesting is that he did. Yeah. Oh, okay. Wow. He kicks it to the moon and back, and then it yeah. goes into orbit. Oh. Yeah. It didn't hurt the moon. <laughs> Weirdly, yes. Um, it, was, it, very it wouldn't hurt the moon. It wouldn't hurt the moon. 
It, 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 if like that that amount of force to take to kick a ball to the moon wouldn't like it wouldn't like it wouldn't shake the so ball would explode. Is scientifically the correct. ball would explode right that's more of the like ball. i'm more impressed with that ball than yeah, i am yeah, with yeah, tony yeah. <laughs> the ball would have like caught on fire and disintegrated okay so tony is actually a lot more um powerful than i expect this is interesting i was expecting this episode to go raising brand sun yeah. easily wins tony the yeah. tiger easily loses but it's been the opposite for me yeah that's crazy no fucking way i, right. just, I mean well, what's he can summon stampedes of people and elephants just by saying the words Captain Crunch yeah, or I, Peanut Butter uh, Captain yeah, yeah, Crunch. Yeah. The Captain Crunch Captain definitely has like way more versatility than Tony in terms of like all that he can do. But also, Tony does have a physical edge. I mean, if he can kick a ball to the moon in like a second, that's like that's like relativistic speeds. I mean, if he's supercharged, what's stopping him from just like bull rushing Captain Crunch and like b biting his head off or something? Because like, all question. Captain Crunch but has to do is snap his fingers. My thing is, what, you, okay, well, hang on, powers. for this last bit, because we need to wrap this, this show up, yeah. mm. but you have mentioned multiple times that Captain Crunch can snap his fingers and make something happen. Yes. Where's the evidence of that? Like, is there a commercial well, where he snaps his it, fingers uh, and something like happens? It's like almost every fucking commercial. My thing Doesn't is Doesn't he have that... to shoot the ray? The, the, no. The no, all he, has to do is look, all he has to do is look at you uh, with a spyglass to crunchitize you, and he's been shown to not even have to do that to control reality in, like, our world. Okay, so, okay. But my thing is, though, is like all of his powers inside of his own dimension or outside are restorative or additive. <laughs> he busts through fucking walls all the time. Yeah, it's 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 more so like yeah, the level of but... control you're saying yes. gives him the ability. He has control over reality in fiction okay. and nonfiction. Right. We got to wrap this up because we have we have like four minutes left. Uh, so let's go ahead and get the go ahead, wrap up your votes. In the chat, Captain Crunch is hashtag one. Tony the Tiger's hashtag two. Let us know who you think should win. Let's go ahead and bring up the Twitter poll first. <gasps> Look what? at oh that! My God! Tony the Tiger has fifty six percent of the votes. Oh, that's wild! <laughs> what? Hang on a second. Yo, did you fabricate this? I mean, Tony gets much, the first vote. He pretty much has infinite sensu beans on him right that's like, not but well here's my thing my thing is i don't necessarily think either one could kill one another like that's where i'm resting right now like i mm, think really this is a tony's draw. a fucking tiger he could just eat his face off i know we've seen him he does have claws we've seen that like yeah but i, I, I will say tony is not he well well tony is probably physically superior he never like fights anybody per se in in his commercials like he he's not a very he's, he's not a very cowardly. um combative or uh yeah he's not good at confrontation i suppose yeah <laughs> um yeah, i like, guess he I does mean... technically fight uh dr cheetah um but that's with gadgets um yeah. all right but let's go ahead and get our votes in so i sort of got with like captain crunch should win this whole fucking tournament if he doesn't let's, make it no, out of the no, semi well, I'm, okay, pretty convinced I'm a... now that like lucky or sunny would like destroy captain crunch well, I don't know. We'll wow. see. We'll, we'll save that for, for we'll save sure. that for next time. Save that for next time. Liam, what is your vote? Captain Crunch or Tony the Tiger? Oh my god. Uh um <laughs> Yeah. I if he's when he's supercharged, if he can kick a ball to the fucking moon, that's that's moving faster than the captain can like think, right? Like if like if you were to launch that at me, I would I wouldn't be able to snap my fingers. I wouldn't be able I, to. I do want to point out, to my though. Yeah, I do want to point out, though. In order for him to get that, he has to supercharge himself first, it's true, which it's does true. involve he eating frosted himself. flakes. Yeah, yeah, which it would never happen because he would be crunchitized way before that that could happen. Oh, yeah. But he, yeah, but he can also shape shift. What does crunchitizing um, him do? after after supercharging? Explain that is, to me. Oh, 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 gotcha. I, gotcha, I, gotcha, I really, gotcha. I really want Tony to win. We don't have time. But like, yeah, I do yeah, have to point out that the supercharging does require setup. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Tony well, is you know, What does that do to Tony, though? It doesn't kill him. It turns him into cereal, it, and it, and then Captain Crunch can dead. control where it goes. He could actually just turn him into cereal and never turn him back, or eat him, but, but can, or take him to his own dimension, from like, or not even have to do that, and okay. just literally be like, shoot a ray out of his fucking hat. That's the anti the only the tiger ray that will kill him instantly. This, we, it, well, we'll lose my sucks being on, on this side Liam, of it, doesn't Liam. it, Chad? <laughs> Liam, <laughs> Tony, or the captain? Who are you voting for? We need an answer. Tony. Holy you shit. You fucker. I can't. 
We have two votes I, for Tony. I, Sam. I want to say a draw. Like, I genuinely want to draw, but I do think it's that... Right. I do think that the captain does... Like, if you're just saying who has more power in this, like, weird, just, like, let's not yeah. define types of From power. Some versatility, yeah. I think the captain clearly has more power. I just don't necessarily know if his powers can kill Tony. But I think if one of them is more likely to kill the other one, it's probably the captain and on accident. I, I think the thing <laughs> is, like, supercharged, okay, I think, is enough to, like, blitz, tone, or blitz the Thank captain. You. I think it's supercharged is, and the way that we usually do arguments is that, like, we assume the character's highest potential from the beginning. So, like, we don't have, like, a Sonic character not being able to pull out Super Sonic or whatever. Um, yeah, but it'd still yeah. take time, and we would still consider that. <laughs> Stop. It depends on the situation. Yeah. Um, I mean, so what, it's, yeah. Get, we got, okay. we got shit we got to do. One get... vote for, we got one for, vote for the captain, two votes for Tony. Yep. It's up That's to you guys I can't in the chat. believe that. Uh, what let's go fuck? ahead and get that up. <laughs> I will say, Lord Terminal, yes, I agree. Tony versus Sugar Bear sounds great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Let's do this. Who's winning this? Wait, who's Sam? Let's get that vote. If we, if it's a tie, we do have a tiebreaker. Gotcha. Okay. Here comes the vote. <laughs> oh my gosh, this has been crazy. I fucking. Oh! <laughs> You're all fucking insane. Fifty-three percent. Tony Captain Crunch vote. doesn't go on. Are you kidding me? This Goes is to Tony. absolute madness. What okay. the absolute fuck? <laughs> on on another level this is though. The I just think oh we can to, to bring us back together. I, think I to, and I swear to God, what? I wasn't even trolling. Like this wasn't like, haha! I'm gonna. Punch How? Chad yes, over. you were. No bullshit. No, 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 no. <laughs> real, real, real fast what before we're out of time, though. Wow. Can we just all say out of out of out of the bunch though? What is our favorite cereal? Because I think that should be gone down. Oh, uh, like, what? Cinnamon Wait. Toast Crunch. Captain Crunch versus Frosted Flakes. I'm a Crunchman. Every day, right? Uh, I don't have a particular preference. I, I just eating really Captain know. Crunch cereal will fuck you up. Like, it's sharp <laughs> as hell. Yeah. No, that's just because um, you got a weak I mouth. can't. I this, is the, this is the worst result we've shocked. ever had on this show. <laughs> I'm I fucking am like, I, I thought, the fact I thought the Tony the Tiger's was... going to the final. This is the and dumbest I love shit like, ever. <laughs> I st like, the Raisin Bran Sun still managed to pull out a win, despite it, like, just being it, I don't think it should have. I think if I had five more minutes, I would have got the chat. I think that's true. I think that's true. That's but, actually true. <laughs> anyways, Chex and Captain Crunch are the better cereals, if you're asking me. Um, Captain Crunch. Chex is, is definitely better than than I think. Uh, but but yeah. wow, I'm I'm blown away. I was oh, fully Raisin expecting Brand? this no, to be Raisin, Raisin Bran and Captain Crunch sweep yeah. this and move on to the end. Yeah. Captain yeah. Crunch was like our best answer to the Raisin Bran Sun way back in the day when we. He bring sure this is. Up before. He, no, it, and I mean he's he, he Captain Crunch would beat the Raisin Bran Sun. I, I think yeah, he could potentially beat him. Yeah. Uh, and he's now not we know that like, probably he's not beating lucky, wow. I don't think. He should have been the fucking tiger, that's for damn sure. Chat, <laughs> you guys have blown us away. This is crazy. Uh, All right, so here's how this is going to work. We are going to do one more serial mascot battle tournament episode. It will be a final battle between all four of the last combatants, which <laughs> are wrong. <laughs> now are the Raisin Bran Sun, Sunny the Cuckoo Bird of Cocoa Puffs, uh, Tony the Tiger of Frosted Flakes, and uh, Lucky the Leprechaun of Lucky Charms. That's our final four. Thanks to you guys. <laughs> um, wow. This is I can, amazing. I am, I am in such fucking disbelief. I can't even yeah, articulate am, the correct I, words. I, the moon feed is fucking nothing. Captain Crunch <laughs> can fly to space whenever the fuck he wants. I told you. I can't. This is, this, this is the worst shit ever. I am, I am furious. You all let me down. <laughs> <laughs> and Liam, <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> uh, Twitter I, also. I, hey, right here, Twitter. That was the worst <laughs> shit. I can't even fucking. I didn't even have anything to do with Twitter Throwing or shit. the chat. There was I barely even had an argument for Tony. I was like, hey, I know! Could, like, do gadgets and shit. <laughs> Hell! That was amazing. You were right. saying, like, he can make cereal out of nothing, and and therefore he's Thanos. And I'm like, that's yeah, not the same thing! Right? Yeah, There's a difference of scale! Restorative powers do not kill people. Um, he literally has people control of life, reality. There's literally can, nothing this man can, can do. He instantly kill people. Like, that's not the same thing! <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. We will continue this discussion in the next he episode. He transforms to cover this, kids into shit. One. He can do whatever he wants. Transform back. 
Thank you all for watching Death Battle Cast as always. Uh, uh, hopefully, Chad um, does not have an yeah. aneurysm and die. Um, I'm, I'm fucking pissed. I'll, yeah. <laughs> Uh, as always, yes. uh, be kind to yourself, be kind to others, be awesome, and we'll see you next week. Bye. Uh huh. Uh -huh. You can see me. I can see everything. <laughs> Did you see that?